Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you five different DIY ideas of how you can make your room a little bit more copper. So without further ado, let's get into the DIY video. When I first bought this pineapple candle holder for about a dollar at a supermarket, I fell in love with the idea of DIYing it. At first it was pink at the bottom and gold at the top, but I didn't really like what that looked like, so I decided to paint the bottom white. But since I didn't really like the way that turned out either, I thought, well, I'm going to spray paint lots of things copper, let's spray paint this baby as well. But since I still liked the way it would give some sort of ombre effect, I still kept the bottom white. I'm really obsessed with the way that turned out because spray paint gives everything such a nice and airbrushed effect, I love it. As you may or may not know, copper is the most trending color interior-wise ever, so I decided well, hey, let's spray paint my wreckish basket thing copper. And as well, some candle holders that I found were white. And I thought, well, let's just spray paint them copper because I prefer them in copper. Most of the trends, interior-wise but also non-interior-wise, aren't sold here in Holland when they have been sold in America for over a year. So it can come in really handy to have some DIY tricks up your sleeve, honey. boxes to organize your stuff have been all over Pinterest lately and I'm super excited about this DIY because you can make a shoe box into a super cute storage box for super cheap um, just get your shoe box and reuse it I mean it's such a shame to throw away something you can make really cute just slam on some washi tape in whatever pattern you like I chose to do a zigzag and stripey pattern that turned out really cute in the end, but I really I didn't film this on purpose because I want you to be just as creative as you like and you can do whatever pattern you like. So get as creative as you want, make some hearts maybe on there, whatever you like. Use as many coats of spray paint that is necessary. My spray paint was able to provide full coverage almost instantly, so that was really easy for me but I spray painted it a second time as well to make sure everything was spray painted and the third time I only spray painted some spots that were a little bit white. Oh, and please don't be just as stubborn as I was to not wear gloves because I was wearing acrylic nails and they were fully destroyed, so please wear some gloves. Gently peel off your washi tape when your spray paint is almost dry. It just has to be just a little bit sticky to get the cleanest edges possible and if you mess up or you see some spots that aren't copper enough or are, aren't white enough then clean it up with some white acrylic paint or use your copper a little bit more. The first thing you're going to need for our fifth DIY already is some gypsum powder or what was it called again? Plaster of Paris? I don't know, something like that. On every two cups of gypsum powder you will be needing one cup of water. It just has to be cold regular water. You're going to mix those two up in a boost cup and then you're going to pour it over in another cup shove your, your empty cup in the cup with gypsum powder and water so that it shoves right up and then you're going to let that sit for about an hour and when the plaster has completely hardened it's time to make it the size you prefer by breaking off the top edges then you're going to cut in your plastic cup so that you can peel off the cup off of your candle holder 
Now comes the fun part because you can spray paint or just paint with acrylic paint the inside of your candle holders like I did right here with copper and like I did in the next shot with my gold. I actually preferred the way it looked uh, if I didn't entirely paint it and if it was a little bit, I don't know, it gave me this really rustic and rural feeling. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to be notified of new videos. I really hope you liked all of the DIY ideas and I really hope you are going to try them yourself. And if you do, please leave a comment down below telling me which one you tried, which one was your favorite and tag me on Instagram and Twitter obviously if you recreated a DIY. And I have a question for you all, would you like to see a room tour? Let me know in the comments down below as well and then I'll see you next week. Hearts!